Oh, look at that gold. Okay, come on. Okay, all right, all right, time and true. So cute. outside of Walmart I need to go into Walmart and kind of stock up on some toiletries for us also I need to get Zara a backless booster seat uh, she's tall enough now I know right for that and so I need to get that um, again and some toiletries to steal her and you know other stuff and just to walk around Walmart because I haven't been in a while I might get a few um, things from the grocery side that I find are incredibly expensive from Kroger stuff like random stuff like taco sauce is like almost four dollars uh, sour cream is really expensive too even the Kroger brand I just Girl, these post-COVID prices are no joke. So anyway, let's go into Walmart, get get a few things, um, see what they have, and just come and walk around and shop with me. I'm on Walmart with the flannels. Okay, this is not my normal Walmart. I hardly ever come. This is maybe my second time ever coming to this particular Walmart. So, if you didn't know this, like every Walmart is kind of different. I mean, they do. Some of them do sell the same things, and then some of them don't. To be honest, I think it just depends on the demographic and where the walmart is located um i'd be I'm, I'm surprised sometimes going to different walmarts i know some walmarts are better for clothes than others some walmarts carry more organic options it just all depends so this one looks like it's popping with the clothes though not gonna lie um time and true that's my jam honey if you didn't know time and true is what's up <laughs> oh <ooh>, boy <laughs> anyways yeah they have like cute sweaters Cute matching sets, they have cute pajamas. Let me see. These are cute shorts, right? I mean, my booty is not, I mean, it's built for this, but bro, my husband would be looking at me like, where are you going with those shorts on? Oh, I thought the shorts were $2. This is what's $2. These are like pajama shorts. I don't know how much these are for clearance. Maybe they're not supposed to be here. This is the clearance section. I always like to look, because you never know. I like a lot of loungewear. Like this is a cute sweater. It's lightweight enough. I wanna get the girls a new sweater for school. I feel like, well, that's still pretty big. I usually get them from Target, but Target sweaters are just as expensive as, for kids are just as expensive as this, you know? Cause honestly, I think they'd be able to fit an extra small. It's just so long, this one. I'd want a sweater that stops like there. They have a lot of jeans. Way more jean options here than my normal Walmart which is nice and cute jean shorts like this is this is cute this is a nice length i really like that length a lot it's really cute all right i did not come in here for clothes gia so i'm gonna need for you to roll on up out of here this is not what we came here for today okay i'm just gonna look down here real quick at the time and true things oh i love these kinds of pants girl i love these these pants have me in a chokehold girl like this is all I wear. Where are my loungewear pants? But I'm like trying to elevate my style a little bit, even though I have no place to go that's, you know, needs elevation or whatever, but like for like PTO meetings or something like that at the school. This is cute. Does it come with like a, like what would you put on top of it though? Like I wouldn't just go sleeveless, you know? It's a cute little set though. I don't know, I love a nice, cute little comfy set, matching set, you know what I mean? I know Amazon has a lot of stuff like that, but it's like a hit or miss. I need to look at the things to see if my natural booty and thighs will actually fit it. You know what I mean? You can't just go by the models on Amazon because you just don't. Girl, who is, where are we going with this? Walmart, don't start now. Don't do the Target trend where we're all going to milk the cows together like sister wives or something. Let's not do that. Yeah, oh, look at that gold. Okay, come on. Okay, all right. All right, time and true. So cute, but I do not need a jacket like that to go anywhere. But yeah, all right, let me focus. This jacket is nice. $24.98. Let me get the few things I need over here on the food side while I'm over here. I need some steak sauce. 
because I made garlic butter bites for dinner. And girl, my, my kids were like, I need steak sauce. I want steak sauce. I'm like, oh my gosh, we don't have any steak sauce. And so we're gonna have leftovers, so I need to go ahead and get the steak sauce for tonight. Now this Ortega steak sauce, or steak sauce, this Ortega taco sauce at Kroger is like over $3, almost $4. It's ridiculous. Right? I just feel like I just got get ripped off on like stuff like this, like this Taco Bell ta taco sauce was over um, $2 at Kroger. It's like the little things at Kroger are really starting to add up. It might be worth it for me to just come to Walmart, you know? I need some more Dukes. I like to always keep Dukes on hand and then also, um, where is it? Hellman's. I like the taste of both of those mayonnaises for different things, you know? All right, so where would the steak sauce be? Let's see. Even the different Walmarts set up the grocery aisles differently as well. It's like not the same. Here it is. Walked right past it. You really want A1, so I'm gonna get them that. Gosh, that's going up too. My goodness. I already have Worcestershire sauce. The price of that is going up too though. Jeez. Wow, look how much the Heinz 57 is. Wow. Nuts. Oh, I just looked at the ingredients. They're pretty much identical. I've never tried the Great Value brand, but that price difference is huge, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, from $3.97 to $1.23, like, only thing is the expiration date on this is 2023, September 2023, and the expiration on this is April 2025, so, I don't know, let me see. All right, I'm going with the A1, only because of the expiration date, but let me know if you've tried the Great Value brand. Does it taste the same? Because I know sometimes, although the ingredients may stay look the same, they don't taste the same, so. All right, let me, oops, see, let me focus. These are more expensive at Kroger as well. This is what I like to use. They're over $3 now. It's just like little creeping up that just is ridiculous. Like when is Jiffy Cornbread 60 cents? Usually it's two for a dollar. Wow. So cream of wheat was over $5 at Kroger, which I thought was just crazy. I mean, even 418 is still high, but it's just at least it's a little bit cheaper. Oh, oatmeal, $1.38. That's, that's pretty good. So with the chips, What's that? Oh, the dill pickle was 3.48, and the sour cream was 3.48. These are 3.48, but then the regular like salt and vinegar or plain is 4.78. I know the bag is a little bit bigger, but to me, the best place to get chips is Sam's. I know, I know, y'all don't come for me. I know, I didn't have a good experience last time I went to Sam's, but if I'm going for chips, that's the best place to go because these prices here are just like whoa, and even Kroger for a small, tiny bag, not even this size bag. They don't even sell it here. It's like the smallest bag that they offer. It's $3.99. So, this is, I think this is a size bag. That's $3.99 at Kroger, so I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous, to be honest. I'm gonna get something I don't plan on going to Sam anytime soon. There's some cute stuff here, with clothes for the kids. I was gonna look and see if they have a sweater section. So Zara said her classroom is so cold, like, so she likes to bundle up. Like something like this is cute, you can layer it. It's really cute. Is it a real button or does it snap? Oh, I wish it snapped, that would have been easier. Those are cute. I love the fact that they sell just this stuff here. Oh, Hawkins, that's cute. Stranger Things. A lot of um, Zara's friends watch Stranger Things and I found that to be fascinating because I would never put Stranger Things on for her. They would be sleeping with me forever. Shoot, I'm scared of Stranger Things. Truth be told, what else? Let's see what's on the clearances, the bathing suits and stuff. I wanna see if they have the leotards on clearance for gymnastics. I wonder where their clearance aisle is in this Walmart, I know it's different at different Walmarts, but I don't need to go down the the school supplies aisle because, girl, listen, I, oh, look at this. It's so cute. Different coloring pieces, giant coloring pages. So cute. Okay, listen, let me make my way over to the toiletries, girl. I'm not playing today. Can't be in here all day. Oh, here's a clearance. Summer games. That's cute. 
eight in one sport set. Nine dollars. It was twenty four eighty two. Huh. Same with this one. Seven dollars. But who would pay twenty three eighty eight for that? Like, are you kidding me? How cute are these? These are really nice. Nice quality. One sixty seven on sale. It's not bad. How cute is this? Five piece. You get two of everything. They're stackable bins. And they're by the Home Edit. Love, love, love this. So cute. It has like a Lazy Susan in there. Like that. That's really nice. I wonder how much this is. So they have two. They have the five piece. They also have the eight piece. Look at that. So cute. These are smaller though. Really cute. I love it. They are though. There's no pricing on it. I'm gonna get some more body wash or not body wash, body scrub. I really like this Dr. Teal's. The only thing is it's salt and not sugar, which is different because it like if you have like a little nick on your body, girl, it burns so bad, especially after you get like a waxing or something like that. I prefer the sugar, but the only thing is I do not like the coloring in it. Like it has red four, blue one. Like on the D Dr. Teal's, even this Dr. Teal's sugar scrub has the coloring in it. I hate that. Yellow 6, red 40. I just, I hate that. This one has red 33 and blue 1. I just wish it didn't have any of that stuff on it. They don't have, oh here it is. Here it is. 4.97 is way too high. They have it at Target now for $3.99 the soap. I don't know why they hiked the price. It used to be $3.48 here. And the fact that they hiked the price up at Walmart is just ridiculous. Because at Target, they don't have as many options for the Shea Moisture Soap, but they do have like two that are $3.99. But these lamps are cute. This kind of looks like the floor lamp I got my mom at the Amazon return store. Cute. Is this accent chair really $17? Because if it's something else, I might get it for my girls' room. It's cute. Is it? Let me take it. Let me see. This chair is really, oh man, so, oh man, let me scan it again. No, this chair is really $17. It's normally $69. I'm definitely going to get it because I think it's going to be cute in the girls' room. They're having separate rooms, but they both want like blue, so I think it's going to be cute. Y'all, help me understand. It says $44.98. This is the kind of backless booster I wanted to get. And when I scan it, it is scanning on the Walmart app I'm using. $28.98. So will they honor that price? Because it says $28.98 at this store and on Walmart.com for $28.97. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get two. Girl, I'm stocking up. Here is the sign here. This, here, this is it. There's the cup holders that stick out. $44.98. Over there it says $44.98, but right here. So I'm gonna take a picture just in case there's any issues with the register. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm back home. I scored huge at Walmart, huge, huge, huge. Um, let me show you uh, the grocery part first though. I got some chips that I talked about in the store. I got the barbecue and the salt and vinegar. Then I got some tomato sauce. So take them out of the bag while I talk. Two boxes of Jiffy cornbread at 60 cents a pop, which was crazy. Some barbecue sauce, hickory brown sugar. Some steak sauce, because my girls, they wanted a one. And some Dukes, because I needed some of that. I also bought myself some more body scrub. The um, salt body scrub, scrub and the scent sleep. It smells so good. I love the lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood together. I got myself a new charging cord because mine broke. And some more fluoride free toothpaste. So I said that my older daughter needed a backless booster. My older daughter is 10, but I did not realize that this was for ages 4 through 10. I mean, she doesn't weigh 100 pounds. I think she only weighs like maybe 75. So. Does this make sense for me to have her use this? Um, even though she's 10 years old. I mean, I know she can, but I guess it really depends on the weight, right? And not necessarily the age because I know kids all weigh differently. I'm gonna do some Googling because I'm not quite sure. I know she's ready for the backless booster because she ha she is at least four nine, but four feet, nine inches. But I don't know. I didn't realize that it was certain age 
range for this as well. So if you know anything about it, leave a comment down below. Here's where I made it big, girl. I bought these chairs. They were, everybody was stopping me in the store. Like when I was checking out in the self-checkout, they were like, oh my gosh, these chairs are so pretty. Um, they're so cute. And I was like, yeah, they're only $17. They were like, what? Yes, this chair is regularly $69. So I feel like that was such a good deal. It's gonna look so cute in the girls' room. They are doing different hues of blues. We have some blue samples um, painted on the wall and I'll go upstairs and show you guys that shortly as soon as I tell you how much I spend. But I end up getting two of these at $17 each. And then also the backless booster rang up at $28 each as well. Okay, I spent a grand total of $144.04. So the majority of that was the backless boosters and the chairs. I think altogether that was like $100. And then the rest were the uh, toiletries. Oh my gosh, I just remembered I forgot something. Forgot to get something. Darn it. I'll just run to Walgreens. But yeah, that is what I got. I'm really excited about those chairs. Let me show you the blues that we have on the wall upstairs in the girls' room. Sorry, the blinds are closed right now um but here are some of the blues that we are picked we picked for them i have some that are my favorites i cannot wait to show you guys the transformation of this room this is going to be ava's room it's a mess right now but it's okay this is going to be ava's room but we're painting the whole thing and so i think um they're going to have variations of blues and pinks and purples and i think it's going to look great in here so that's why i bought that chair all right my girls just got home from school thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.